my career in science uh, came late in life. Uh, I uh, got really interested in science uh, after I uh, graduated from college. I got very, very interested in, in uh, uh, doing genetics and learning genetics and, and doing genetics with flies. The genomes of organisms uh, harbor evolutionary history. Um, and that's because uh, DNA, which is, makes up the genome, um, mutates. And when it mutates in a common ancestor, the descendants of that common ancestor have that mutation. My PhD advisor gave me a lot of advice. I ignored most of it. But the one bit of advice he gave me was choose a system where there's lots of white sand. The Hawaiian Drosophila, while they live in the rainforest, um, the rainforests are very, very close to the beaches and uh, that's the, the criterion that I used. It's an experience that all biologists should do, is to be in the field and to learn something about the organisms that they're working on. Every, every na naive field biologist gets lost every once in a while, and, and the Hawaiian rainforests are very confusing places to be. One day I got lost and was lost pretty late into the evening until uh, the uh, senior researcher who I was working with found me, took me back to camp, woke up the next day, he gave me a stopwatch and a whistle, and he said, blow this whistle every two minutes <laughs> so that he could tell where I was. One of the uh, most fun things that, I, that I've done in my career was to uh, figure out how to make DNA from caviar eggs um, and then to use that DNA to tell what species those caviar eggs came from. The importation of caviar was not regulated at all prior to the study that we did. Once we had a tool to determine what species the caviar came from, that uh, allowed the um, uh, powers that be to place restrictions on the importation of caviar. While I like to learn, I also like to teach, and it's a lot of fun for me to, to uh, have students and to teach them the stuff I know, and, and I get in return the stuff that they know. And I also like to teach the public, which is where uh, my interest in, in exhibitions comes from. I've had the great pleasure of working with our exhibitions department on three temporary exhibitions, one on infectious disease, one on uh, genomics, and this last one on, on the brain. My colleague Ian Tattersall, uh, who is a curator here at the museum, has spent the last 15 or 20 years of his career writing for the public and doing it very nicely. Uh, and so my interaction with Ian has been a very important uh, interaction here at the museum as he's taught me to make my writing more accessible to the public. You know, what I'd like to accomplish in the future with my research is a better understanding of microbial life. Um, to date, there are only about 7,000 species of bacteria that have been named, and there are millions and millions of species out there. 